Hey there, tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a common error that's been causing frustration, Intel VTX being disabled, preventing you from creating virtual machines. But don't worry, we've got your back. In this short video, we'll guide you through the steps to enable Intel VTX, and get you up, and running with your virtual machines in no time. So, let's jump right in, and solve this problem together. Hit that like button if you find this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. Let's go! First of all, let me show you the errors we may encounter while creating a virtual machine. I have installed VMware software for this purpose. Now, let me open the software. As you can see, I have created a virtual machine called NVR700, but it has not been booted yet. To load the ISO file, I will click on the CD option and load the ISO file. Once ISO file is loaded, I will power on the machine by clicking on the power on option. When I try to load the ISO file, and power it on, we encounter the dreaded Intel VTX disabled error. Let's click OK, and close the virtual machine for now. To resolve this issue, we'll need to access the BIOS settings. While your computer is restarting, press and hold the escape key on your keyboard. This will bring up the startup menu. From here, use the down arrow key to select the computer setup option, or simply press F10 to load the BIOS. Once the BIOS is loaded, navigate to the security tab by pressing the right arrow key. Then, select slot security by pressing the down arrow key, and hitting enter. You should now see the system security window. Here, we need to enable the virtualization technology. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate and select the options for enabling virtualization. Make sure both options are enabled. Once you've made the necessary changes, press F10 to accept them. Next, go back to the file menu, and select save changes and exit. Press enter to confirm. Now, wait for your computer to restart completely. Now that your computer has restarted, let's repeat the process of creating the virtual machine. As you can see, this time, the ISO file starts booting without any errors. And there you have it. By enabling Intel VTX in the BIOS settings, 
We've overcome the Intel VTX disabled error and successfully booted the virtual machine. Remember to save your BIOS changes and exit. Now, before we wrap up, I have some exciting news for you. If you're interested in diving deeper into virtual machine creation on both Windows and Linux, I've already uploaded a complete playlist on our channel dedicated to this topic. In that playlist, you'll find a variety of tutorials and guides that cover everything from virtual machine setup to advanced configurations. Whether you're a Windows or Linux user, there's something for everyone. So be sure to check it out and equip yourself with the knowledge to master virtualization. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. We're constantly working on bringing you valuable tutorials, troubleshooting guides, and exciting tech updates. Thank you all for watching and for your ongoing support. Remember to explore the playlist for more virtual machine goodness, and as always, stay curious and keep experimenting with technology.